This is Ashley Arona's second day protesting outside of what used to be the Florence Library. A few months ago, the building was demolished for an affordable housing unit. There's still a lot of violence prevalent in our community, and it's literally a, a safe zone. So for them to take something that a lot of community members utilize, not just as a, a material resource, but as a, but as a safety zone, it, it definitely affects us in a negative way. Instead, the community where Arona has lived her whole life was given a temporary trailer. Uh, we have the Florence Library Express right now, which is located at our local park. This is the park. And this is the library. And a lot of people don't think that that's necessarily a good place for a temporary library because Roosevelt Park itself is known as being a not so safe park either. There's a lot of transactions that happened. Um, and it's also on a gang boundary. And the new library's small size means fewer resources for students. I have family members who don't have technology, who don't have Wi Fi, and the library was kind of their their go-to when they needed things like that. Less than a fourth of people in Florence Firestone have a high school diploma, and less than 3% have a bachelor's degree. In response, Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas's office says, given the state of the emergency around homelessness, however, we must also prioritize affordable housing. The protests will continue for the rest of the week from 6.30 to 8.30 every morning where the Florence Library once stood. For Annenberg Media, I'm Thunvi Verma.